Hi, it's a pleasure to be here to share in this video with you. Good day, how are you today? Today is the last day of October 2017. We thank God for giving us the opportunity to be alive, to be healthy, to, to be gracious, to, to learn of Him and to be at peace with the blessings of God. I want to say thank you for joining this video. And I want to also say happy end of October. It's been a very fulfilling month and it's a very powerful month indeed. Welcome to this video. This video is titled, What is Too Sensitive to Share? What is Too Sensitive to Share? I'd like you to please share this video because it's probably going to empower someone. It's probably going to, you know, encourage someone. It's probably going to motivate someone. But like I said, the video is titled, What is Too Sensitive to Share? This morning, I posted an, an image on Instagram and Facebook, and I questioned it. I said, what, in your opinion, is too sensitive to share? And as I speak with you, I haven't received any comment on the video. It's been almost two hours, if I'm not wrong. So, um, okay, my voice is too low. Please let me know if it's louder now. Thank you, Bashirat, for pointing that out. Please confirm if my volume, if you can hear me more audibly, just write it in the comment. So, it's been over two hours since I said, you know, and I shared that image asking, what is too sensitive to share in your opinion and nobody has commented which just validates my suspicion and my concern and the purpose for this video we have determined that some things are too sensitive to share and which is why this spate of mental crisis and emotional crisis is going very high this morning i had a conversation with a client and we're talking about how people are overwhelmed and how people are going through a lot of challenges and their, their, their mental stress is going up. One recipe for increased mental stress and emotional trauma is secrecy. One recipe for increased mental, emotional, psychological trauma is that something is too sensitive to be discussed. I used to have those problems. I will tell you the honest truth. I used to say, no, I'm a known person. Oh, I'm a public person. Oh, I am a private person. Oh, I like to keep my things private, which is true, yeah. But the thing is, when it's anything is too sensitive to share with anyone, then you probably are setting yourself up for a crisis. Thank you, Coach Kemi Oyesola. For your feedback and comment god bless you i appreciate you ma so if at any time you feel something is too sensitive for anyone to know you are setting yourself up for a doom for major fallout so this video is asking all over again what is too sensitive to be shared first let's define what sensitivity may mean sensitivity would mean that this is something a subject I cannot handle talking to someone about. This is a subject I cannot imagine someone else knowing about. This is a subject that I am too ashamed or too guilty or too this or that for me to talk to someone about. Or this is a subject that is too difficult for me to share with anyone. That for me may be definitions of sensitivity. Why do people feel they need to keep some things private and secret because they are too sensitive to share? In my opinion, first and foremost, is lack of capacity to be vulnerable. When you do not have the capacity to be vulnerable, sharing your sensitive information becomes a challenge. Secondly, is the fear of being labeled and judged and shamed. It's because people begin to think that, well, if I share this with someone, someone else will know and I may be shamed, I may be, you know, I, I may be, you know, blamed, I may be, you know, cursed. 
society has made it very difficult for us to share, you know, our sensitive information because we will be shamed, we will be judged, and we will be blamed. So that's the second reason, fear, is the second reason why people think some things are too sensitive. Thirdly, some things, yes, are very grievous. And we say, wow, nobody has to know this. Nobody must know this. It's very true. Very, very true. You know, and I, I understand. I understand. There are just some things that are very difficult to expose, very difficult to share. You know, but I am growing into a new learning that really, first and foremost, there is nothing you have done that cannot be shared for yourself, for your sake. I have come through some months and years of very difficult experiences, personal. I've come to the point where I feel that if I will be at peace with myself, if I will be personally happy, if I will be serene, if I will be joyful, if I will be happy, then I need to bring myself to be vulnerable, to share the depths of my crisis with people, with persons, with individuals that have a potential to not do anything, not necessarily because you can do anything, but they can listen to you. I found out psychologically that when you have shared your body, oh, my master is here, Usa, thank you for joining, Temitayo, thank you for joining, if I Chuku Elijah, thank you for joining, and several others, Fresh Bashi, thank you for being here. You know, I found out that the moment you allow yourself share your burden, Pansha Gomez, thank you for joining. The moment you sh allow yourself share your burden, share that sensitive information, you are on the path to freedom. Freedom is so important. Freedom is so important. Mental freedom. The stage, you see, when the Bible says it is necessary for you to be at peace with man and with God, that statement is so important. But to be at peace with man is to be sure that everyone with whom you have an interaction has a clear cut understanding what you do, what you believe in. When I have interaction with you, I need to make it as transparent as possible with you. When I have reservations about you, I need to be able to open up. You see, I had a difficult challenge two days ago. A particular scenario or conversation was playing out. And on an unusual day, I would dodge a conversation that is becoming confrontational, becoming too sensitive, becoming too fiesty. I would ordinarily withdraw and sidestep. But in this case... I placed the call. I talked about how I felt. And I said, I'm not happy. That happened yesterday morning, I remember. I said, I'm not happy about this particular scenario, but it's beyond my control. I needed to express how I felt. And it just instantly gave me a lot of relief. So I want to ask you, when you feel something is too sensitive to be discussed, how does that make you feel? Does it resolve anything? Does it suddenly make you feel at peace? Or does it just build up? You keep expanding on it. You keep exaggerating it. You keep drawing dimensions that probably are not even existent. And then you put yourself under more pressure. So I really think that, you know, we need to begin to re-emphasize and de-emphasize what we call sensitive information. We need to begin to redefine what we call sensitive information. Don't allow yourself to be cracked and bundled into emotional trauma by the things you call sensitive information. First and foremost, be willing to share with one person. And if you share with one person, be willing to make yourself more vulnerable. Grow capacity. It's not an easy thing. I will tell you the honest truth. It is not an easy thing. Thank you, Felicia Gabriel. You're a great lady. Mr. Ebenezer Diaolu, I'll call you Pastor Ebenezer. Thank you for joining. So it's not an easy thing to be vulnerable. But I can guarantee you, it saves you a lot of mental resources, saves you a lot of emotional resources, saves you a lot of psychological resources. You need to be resourceful per time. You need to be resourceful at every time. You need to be peaceful every time. You need to be inspired every time. You need to be inspiring every time. You need to be happy every time. If you want to be 
then you must be willing to be transparent, you must be willing to share, you must be willing to be open. There are very difficult situations that stand and stare at us at the face on our faces, but then we need to grow capacity to be vulnerable. Yesterday I told a friend, I said, at my stage now, there is no information that ever becomes in um you know that ever becomes too sensitive that i will not ride with i'm growing capacity to say worst case scenario i will confront the situation because i have to be at personal peace i have to be in a place of personal resourcefulness i have to be in a place where i am free from my own self from my darkness free from my darkness Free from my secrets, free from my limitations, free from my misconceived perception of what people have about me, free from the things people think I am that I am not, free from the self imposed limitations and the branding and the, you know, perspecting different things. So, so I, I, I strongly recommend that, you know, grow capacity to be that. Now, that brings me to this point. I want to share with you my book. I had an e-book I released earlier this year titled The Mirror of My Darkness. That book contains a lot of information about many sensitive information that will ordinarily not be in the domain out there. So, I want to share this book with a thousand people. That's my goal. Only 1,000 people, I want to send it directly to you as an email. I'm going to schedule an email that will go to exactly 1,000 people. So if you're interested in receiving this e-copy, I want you to leave your email address in the comment section or send your email address to subka at subkaonline.com. Leave your email address in the email sec comment section or send your email address to subka at subkaonline.com and you're going to receive this ebook. But it's not for free. I want to give someone who is in crisis this morning 200,000 naira. And I've decided that we're going to split the cost. So 1,000 people will send a hundred naira only to me and as you send a hundred naira only I will raise a hundred thousand naira only so if I have one thousand people send me only hundred naira per person just one hundred naira one thousand people sending one hundred naira will give us a hundred thousand naira then Sopka or myself actually on behalf of Sopka will raise one hundred thousand naira then we can bless this this soul who is in crisis, a very significant crisis, and I'm going to make it very confidential. We're going to send it, send this 200,000 Naira to this person. So if you're with me on this, leave your email address, but please send only a 100 Naira. I'm going to write the different accounts you can credit so that you don't have to also bear bank charges. So I'll, I'll send my GT account, Fidelity account, Standard Stambic IBTC account, Diamond account. I'll publish everything in the comment section. Drop only 100 naira. I don't ask for anything more than that. Share this video so that more people are able to watch it, more people are able to reach it, and then they're able to send 100 naira. We need 1,000 people that will send us 100 naira each. And each of these 1,000 people will get a copy of my ebook titled The Mirror of My Darkness via email. That is a promise. Are you with me on this? Please, someone watching this video should ensure we hit 1,000 people that send in 100 Naira only. And we have 1,000 email addresses and we will definitely send you the book for free. If you're with me, please support me to do this. But before you go, irrespective of you sending your email, irrespective of you sending us 100 Naira only, please, Whatever is too sensitive cannot be too sensitive for you to share. Talk to someone today and be free. Freedom is priceless. I tell you, freedom is priceless. God bless you.